Oh, all right, so we just landed in Orlando. Thanks guys. There's only one thing we can do. And that's to come to Disney World. Welcome back to your daily dose of Disney, everybody. We're finally back here at Walt Disney World. Well, not finally back, you know, it was a good little trip over at Disneyland. Um, we have a lot of updates. Every time we leave, there's so much to cover that we missed, but a lot has just recently happened today and yesterday. Believe it or not, it's actually colder here than it was colder in Disneyland. It just rained all day, so we have blanket clouds and everything. It's about 78 degrees out, but... Uh, the humidity is kind of just killing me at the moment. I love that about California. Just dry heat, it was pretty great. Now we're back to the humidity of Florida. We're actually gonna be starting it off with some very exciting news here regarding Epcot's monorail right here behind me. It's gonna be open this Sunday, July 18th for the first time in almost 16 months. So now you can take the uh, monorail from Epcot over here to the Magic Kingdom. You can take it from the TTC over to Epcot. Very nice that it's finally gonna be open after 16 long months. Pretty big news here. Good to see uh, Epcot's monorail finally back up and operational. Still need your masks on uh, transportation here at Disney World. I actually remembered my uh, mask. Oh, I know why, it's because I came from the airport. <laughs> And welcome back to Disney World, everybody. This is always one of my favorite views, coming on in to the Magic Kingdom. Nothing beats going on the monorail, like at least from the view standpoint. I hope you guys all enjoyed my California adventures at Universal Studios Hollywood, California Adventure, and of course, Disneyland. It was a lot of fun, obviously, to make those and go out there and visit Avengers Campus for the very first time. And Disneyland. Uh, <laughs> Obviously. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Tired, very <laughs> tired. Thank you. Perfect, have a good night. Wow, this is so strange to see. I mean, obviously the, one of the big differences of going on to Disneyland is just, you know, the size comparison. It's so good to be back. So, so good to be back. Let's go have some fun. There's a lot of updates, a lot of new things here actually, food-wise, at Disney. I'm getting hit with so much smells of food right now at the moment. I'm very very hungry, which is not good for me. I'm trying to save some money regarding food, but uh, how could you not spend money on food when you come here to Disney? Let's head down Main Street. It's just so, oh my gosh, it's so big. My voice is a little bit raspy right now. It's, I lost it completely when I went on Guardians of the Galaxy. Freaking love that ride so much. Kind of like Velocicoaster, when I just was screaming so much, that's what I was doing on Guardians of the Galaxy, just screaming my uh, head off. I'm curious to see if people are still hanging out in the hub to uh, try to get those fireworks spots. Fireworks is in about an hour and uh, well, about two hours. We'll see if people are poached on up. I bet you they are. You know what? It's actually not too bad at all. I mean, there are still people waiting. I mean, do what you gotta do, but not, not as bad as we've seen it before. I advise you don't have to, you know, I mean, if you want to, by all means. Come to the fireworks two hours early. I love our castle here. Wow. Just to let you know, because I actually forgot about this last time I came here for fireworks, they do shut off the entrance to the castle at a certain time. I'm gonna ask the cast member um, actually when that is, because if you wanted to walk through the castle, there's a shut off time now since there are fireworks. They're actually shutting it down right now, so I guess like roughly 7.15 if you want to walk through the castle. Gotta do before that because it uh, looks like your chance is gone after that. Let's head on into Tomorrowland because we do have a few updates in here and I want to see if they've updated the pavement. I think they have. They have. The wheel is about to get torn on up. That pavement over there is coming all the way down on over here. Say goodbye to the wheel because it's probably going to be gone. The next time we're here. No more. Now just right around the corner, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin will actually be closing for a brief refurbishment from July 20th through July 22nd with a reopening date of July 23rd. So if you are gonna be here for those couple days, I'm so, so sorry. Buzz Lightyear is gonna be down for a little bit. I don't know what it is. I think they're gonna be getting rid of the social distancing kind of dividers inside the queue. We'll have to wait and see, but uh, I'm sorry it's gonna be down. There are a couple other attractions that are gonna be down as well. I've got an update over here where I don't usually normally go. This is an update for your little kiddos if they wanna have some fun over here in the circus. 
Casey Jr.'s Splash and Soak Station has reopened here at the Magic Kingdom inside the Storybook Circus. Um, it's actually been closed since March of 2020 and did not open with the park in July. This is the first time that it is open since 2020. It just wrapped up this refurbishment that they were doing, just repainting their paint, but it is finally open here. But the merchandise cart right on over here, that still remains closed. But I mean, if your kids want to come on over here and get the, uh, you know, get wet, here they are. Let them have fun. Let them go do their uh, kid thing. The lines are out of uh, this world today. Here's a uh, mine trains posted a 90 minute wait. Little Mermaid's got a really long line. I think it's safe to say when uh, the Little Mermaid's line is all the way out over here, the park is uh, mighty crowded. Mighty crowded, especially at this hour. No one's really over here at this hour. I mean, a 40's not bad, but for uh, the Little Mermaid, that's a pretty long wait. All I know is right now, I need to get food and some liquid in my body. I haven't eaten since I was at the airport in LAX this morning. What did I have? I had breakfast. I haven't had anything since. It's uh, 7.41. There are some uh, new food options actually now available here inside the Magic Kingdom. I don't know how late they stay open. That's what I'm a little bit worried about because I feel like they are closed right now. We're gonna make our way on over there. I do need some food and I do wanna go on a ride. Everything's just super long right now at the moment. Oof, I, uh, I actually almost forgot to tell you guys. It's a Small World is uh, closing for a very small refurbishment. Um, it's from July 27th through July 29th, reopening on the 30th. Um, they will be closed. Um, I think they're gonna be removing the large plexiglass as well in the area that were installed in 2020 for obviously the social distancing guidelines and whatnot, but that's also gonna be closed with Buzz Lightyear as well. I actually just thought of a really good challenge. Comment down below if I should do this. I want to come one night during the fireworks and see how many rides I can uh, go on when the fireworks are shooting off. I think that'd be a pretty cool challenge. Comment down below if I should do that. That's a pretty cool idea. I'm actually interested to know how many I could actually get on during the fireworks. I don't know. Let me know. Oh yeah. Definitely wouldn't be able to walk on the Honda Mansion right now at the moment. This is a hard pass. Since we are over here, I might have heard a, uh, a rumor that maybe sometime in August, this attraction, the Hall of Presidents, might be opening up. Maybe, maybe sometime early August. Maybe, maybe. Just a rumor though. We'll have to wait and see. I'm pretty confident I'd be willing to throw like a hundred dollar wager first week of August. Hall of Presidents. Maybe, might be, maybe, might be possibly opening. We're getting closer to the food options that have just recently uh, reopened and uh, got some of their items on their menu. I don't know if they are open this late though. We're gonna have to find out. It appears not to be open and I'm actually very bummed out about this. No. Over here at the Westward Ho, they actually have something brand new on their menu. Well, not brand new, it's just back. They have the candied bacon, and also they have jalapeno bites here back on their menu, and I really wanted to try it, because I've actually never had it before. That stinks. I guess we'll come back for that, though. On the app, it says that they close at three. I was just hoping by some miracle it would be open, but it's not, and I'm disappointed. I guess we'll go to our second option, but I don't even know that's open. It's over here, though. I knew it wasn't going to be open. I just want these new food offerings. We're definitely gonna have to come back, but it's good for you guys to know if you are coming within the next few days. The Golden Oak Outpost is actually finally open, and here you can get those, you know, the hot and crispy chicken breasts, um, loaded fries, cookies, and ice cream, with mainly the fries. The fries here are delicious. It is open though, I mean, I think they closed probably at like four or five. I was kind of hoping they'd be open, but they're not. Can I have a water cup? I came in here to pay those bills for um, water, and my friend Carly here surprised me with a magical moment with um, some Cheerios for us. You're welcome, it's on Thanks so much. Nothing more Disney 
and eating on a trash can. It's my favorite hobby. They're good. What's really weird is I actually like to have these mini churros with the chocolate. I don't like to actually have the, the big churros with chocolate. I like the mini ones with chocolate. I'm over here just trying to uh, trying to enjoy my churros here and I heard someone say, the line's over here, it starts over here. The line for Thunder is the longest I've ever seen it in decades. Decades. These ones are more crunchy than gooey, than like real churros. So don't expect these to be gooey. They're more of a crunch. Definitely no uh, shortage of people here at the moment today. Yikes! We, however, are gonna ride at Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. We just got a uh, magical moment from uh, a cast member, so uh, shout out to you. Thank you so, so much. Let's go on. What's also causing this long line is that one of their trains are down, so this is not normally normal. That's why when I saw it, I was like, what? So that's good to know. It's not like insanely like Christmas packed. I think it's so cool how we were just on the West Coast riding Big Thunder and screaming that. And we get to do it back here at the Magic Kingdom. Pretty cool. Been a while since I rode th th thunder with the sunset. Dad, where are you? What a beautiful sunset, look at that. In just little under than an hour, Happily Ever After will begin. Believe it or not, it's kind of crazy how fast the, the sun sets, right? Just going on thunder though, that was quite a surprise. Didn't really expect that, so that was awesome. I apologize if this video is shorter than my other videos. I'm just running on fumes right now at the moment. I just still, I thought it was such a cool idea to be on the West Coast, you know, just went to Disneyland. And then the day I fly in, go straight to the Magic Kingdom. That's why I'm here, because you don't get to do that often. And it's awesome. And of course, there's a lot of updates that we had. Ooh, is Pirates a walk-on? Yes! It's a walk-on. Hi, Hi, how's it going? Oh man, I'm so pumped. This is this is great to see. Cause all the other wait times are just out of this world. The cast members out there were just telling me that today Pirates Caribbean was up to an 85 minute wait and it was past the jungle cruise. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> Usually this is when Pirates turns into a walk-on just because the fireworks are about to start and everyone's kind of heading to the hub. We'll check that out to confirm, but that's usually how it works, you know? It's getting back to the times where we're used to at the Magic Kingdom. Let's go ride Pirates. It has gotten dark out. That can mean only one thing. Fireworks in about 20 minutes. 
If you did happen to miss one of my Disneyland vlogs, I filmed some of the new scenes on the Jungle Cruise. It is open now over at Disneyland. We're just waiting it to be finished here. They're still implementing the new scenes and whatnot. Go check that out if you want to see some, some of the scenes. I'm uh, never here at night, so it's kind of cool just to walk around and see the park lit up. At night, we're never here. I'm always a morning person. You guys know that. I always rope drop, so it's kind of different to be here at night. Let me know if you want me to come at night more, as well, because I can totally do that. Especially seeing the castle lit up, as well. This is always a treat. But holy smokers, it is bonkers. There is a lot of people here. A lot of people here for fireworks. It's so good to see this. I love it. This is Disney. I know. This is the Disney I know. I mean, to me, just seeing all of these people, especially inside the hub when I'm so used to seeing it empty, it just warms my heart. This is Disney. This is Disney. All of these people. Oh my gosh. Look who I ran into. What's up, everyone? How you doing? <laughs> Got the castle behind you. Looking great. Tons of space over there. That's yeah. awesome. There's some room over here. <laughs> we have room here left more pilots today. Straight ahead for Main Street or more fireworks viewing. There's no space anywhere. Ahead. I'm loving this so much, everybody. I hope you guys too. This is the one time I love to see Magic Kingdom packed during the fireworks, during Happy Labor After. Look at the castle. Look at that. Well, everybody, I don't know about you, but I think that's a great point to end our video here today. We went, hi, hello. <laughs> we went to West Coast, to East Coast, finishing here at the Magic Kingdom. It's been a crazy long day, ending with the fireworks. How beautiful is that? I mean, pretty great. Um, real quick shout out and happy birthday to uh, Michael McLeod. Hope you have a great birthday over there in Australia. And uh, thank you for all the support you've given to me on this channel as well. I hope you have a great, great birthday. But that's going to be it for our daily dose of Disney today. We're back here at Disney World. Um, Food & Wine was yesterday. I actually filmed this before Food & Wine because I wanted to upload that the same day that uh, was the grand opening. But that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Go, 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 go. Look at Harley go. Just kidding. It's Caitlin. Thanks for jumping. There you go. That was perfect. That was great. All right. Thanks.